Decision making for a flight should be a deliberately conscious process. Consider risks and hazards before and during the flight and ask yourself what could go wrong. Let's look at risk-based decision making on 57 seconds to safer flying. As an airman, it's your responsibility not to exceed your capabilities or that of your aircraft. But are there times when you don't realize you're at risk? Unidentified risks or unknown risks include things you couldn't have known and things maybe you should have known but didn't. Not finding a closed runway notum at the destination is one of these. But not searching for notums in the first place is another kind of risk. It's an identified risk or known risk, but it probably is an acceptable risk to you if intentionally you don't read notums. But here's the thing, would your old flight instructor or your current passengers see this practice as acceptable? They might agree that not searching notums is an unacceptable risk. Always look twice at a risk you're accepting if that little voice inside your head says another pilot might not accept it. Added together, acceptable risks and unidentified risks are residual risks. At that point, we've decided to continue the flight. Reassess your risk often. Are you accepting certain risks because they worked out well for you in the past? If so, your luck could run out. So look at the situation you're in. Bad weather, higher altitudes, mountain flying, half full fuel tanks, or maybe it's your recent lack of proficiency. Increase your margin of safety by changing departure time, changing destination, changing altitude, or changing payload, etc. Work to make unacceptable risk more acceptable for you and your passengers before and during the flight. For the FAA Safety Team, I'm Phil Dixon.